Welcome to an awesome little video here in Kaasari, Finland. This is a company that gave me the bike twice last summer to test ride and I absolutely fell in love with the Torx 660. So let's buy the brand new bike here. Let's get into the shop and let's put my money where my mouth was last year in this clip. I have to say that if this was an available bike at the time when I bought the Tenere 700, I have to say I would have bought this. I would have most likely bought this bike. So let's get into the shop and look at the bike. Even though the season hasn't really started in Finland, for most normal people, unlike me, <laughs> the guys at Kasari had some really nice goodies on offer on the ground floors. So they sell Aprilia, Modokutsi and Benelli bikes if you want to buy a new one. And of course they sell old and used bikes as well. It was nice to walk around the shop and look at the goodies on offer. There's jet skis and ATVs and even electric bicycles. But without me further rambling, let's get into unveiling the Torex 660 and see how the bike looks. No me, täällä olisi tota tässä olisi sitten tuorekki valamina koitoks. Ja oikealla värillä. Se oli Kyllä. vähän jo tuuriakin, että sattui sinivalkoinen niin kuin... Joo. Tää on ollut suosittu väri tää Evo. Tää on mulle suosittu kyllä että ilman muuta vaikka ne rumia on ne muutkaan värit niin kyllä mä sanon että tää sininen on mun, mulle mieluisin. Tässä niin. on vähän semmoista kasarityyliä. Niin jo, kyllä. Vähän Tätä... pikkusen violettia. Niin. Eli tässä on nyt tekpaketti sulle laitettu valmiina, kuin shifteri ja kahvan lämpärit ja semiamodulit. Joo. Se on se suosituin varustelu tähän Joo. tänä päivänä ollut. Että... Joo, se miamoduli käyttö pitää opiskella, mutta... Niin. Tonnissahan se on se ensimmäinen huolto. Tonni saa aikaa huolto, vaihtaa öljyt suorat ja käy hyvän pyörän läpi. Niin kuin... Just. Ja sitten tarkistuspinnojen kiristys, kaikki nämä perussetit. Kyllä. Mutta ajomodeahan siinä on aika paljon, kun siinä pystyy säätämään sitten vielä modeja Joo. manuaalisesti. Joo, siinä on individual modeja, sitten on urban ja kommuta ja sitten off-road tietenkin, missä on takaa APS pois. Ja sitten jokaista sitä individual modeakin pystyy säätämään, niin kuin, ja sitä traction controlia pystyy säätämään joka modeessa, eli sutilisen niin. estuen. Ja, Just, jo, jo. ja, ja tuota, niin, se vaan muuttaa sitä moottorikarttaa, että off-road modella se on niin kuin, sitten se nopeen kaasuvasti siinä. Just, joo. Jo. No se pitää aina vaan... Jokaisen hakijan vähän se oma mieleen niin, mielelläni asetus. Niin. Ja mä tykkäsin siitä kanssa tuorakin, että sä saat sen, ne teeset ja apsit ja muut niin kuin vauhista pois päältä. Joo, ei kyllä. tarvitse pysähtyä ja niin teneerissä painaa pitkään nappia ja Joo, odotella. Ei, ja ei ne ole ihan lennosta saa pois. Tosi, tuota. tosi helppo käyttää sillä lailla, vaikka onkin monimutkaisempi mm. tekniikka, niin tosi kätevä. Joo, se on semmoisen sopiva yksinkertainen se. Kyllä. Joo, se on tosi progressiivinen tuo johdus, sillä että se voi aluksi tuntua niin pehmeältä, kun menee kyytiin, mutta Joo. mä käyn omalla painolla sitä on saanut pohjaamaan kertaa. Joo, kyllä... ja sitten kun sitä on sitä travelia aika paljon, 240 muista. Joo, 240 milliä, kyllä. Joo, ja suojat tulee mulla sitten seuraavassa videossa paikalle. Kyllä. Eikä siinä, pistetään pyörä tulille ja katsotaan miten se saa haraa. Otetaanpa tuo muovi pois. Joo, se on sitten <laughs> Onko vappaalla on? Ja se keinu kytki alaspäin. Justi. Ja tuo. Ja. Tuolla on vielä tuo. Lähetään ajele. Me saa ei ohi tossa kop. Mä päästän ohi. Kiitoksia kaupoista. Kiitos sulle, totta kai. Mä oon takana aina. Joo, ota vaan. Alright, the bike is now safely in Rahe, Finland. I'm going to drive this next week to Vasa where I live. But that was a cold first 100 kilometers for the Torek. And the bike feels even better than I remembered. The Tenere has been a very reliable partner in all kinds of trips to Greece from Finland and uh, a long days with this uh, with this bike, but I'm I'm happy to report that the first 100 kilometers with the Torek felt really nice and I would say the first highlights from the first ride is the seat felt still awesome when I arrived here in Rahe. I felt no issues with my, my 
high knee. And the ergonomy of the riding position on the Torek is way better than the Tenere ever was, even with the configuration changes that I have on this bike. The bar, bar changes and all that. So the Torek feels like it's made for me right out of the box. So in stock form, this bike suits my proportions way better. I actually already sold the Tenere, but it's still waiting to be picked up. So I thought I would put them side to side so you can see both of the bikes like this, which is rare to actually be able to do because not many people in Finland own these bikes yet. The Torek is pretty rare, especially compared to the Tenere 700. So the Tenere, as I already have told you in multiple videos, I have the 18 millimeter lowering link on the Tenere 700 and the forks are lowered like 14 millimeters so you can see the fork tube here a little bit more than you can see on the stock bike configuration so keep that in mind but I would I thought it would be interesting for me to sit on both of these bikes back to back and see how much of a difference is there now to the lowered Tenere 700 to the stock Torek 660. I don't have the preload configuration on the Torek yet dialed in to my weight, but I feel like it's pretty much where it's supposed to be. It might even be a little bit more stiff than the Tenere 700 is at the moment. But let's see how they feel when I sit on the Torek first and then I swap to the Tenere and how do I get reach to the ground with my feet on both bikes. Maybe this is interesting to some people, so let's do it. So first I sit on the Torek. The first thing I notice when I sit on this bike is that it's a little bit narrower between your legs. So you have an easier time reaching the ground just because of that. And I can almost, if I stretch myself fully with these basic sneakers, I can't really put my full foot down, but it's very close. I feel like I'm half a centimeter, like five millimeters off from uh, flat footing this bike. Only ever so slightly I have to move it if I want to touch my full foot to the ground. So I'm very comfortable sitting on this Torek. All the controls, power position, everything is right where it needs to be for my, my use case. I feel like the bar is perfect distance away from me. For my use, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Perfect. So let's now do the same thing in the Tenere 700. And keep in mind, I don't have the stock bar on this. I have the Adventure Evo bar. And I have the 18 millimeter lowering kit on this bike. Rally rate rear suspension, well, the spring only. But the bike is way, way thicker between your legs. You can notice immediately you have to spread your legs quite a lot to actually try and reach the ground on this bike. And even though it's 18 millimeters lowered, it's still taller than the Torek 660's stock configuration. So there is no way I could reach my both of my foot fat, flat on the ground. It's like five centimeters almost higher than the Torek. And you can see there is sag when I sit on the bike, even without my riding gear. So I think the suspension is set up for me right now, pretty much perfect. I don't think the Torek is much different, especially at, as this doesn't have such a high suspension travel. The Torek has uh, 240 and this has only 210. So of course the sag is supposed to be a little bit bigger on the Torek if you're, if you're aiming to 30% sag. But yeah, the bike feels way taller. It's not, it's not unmanageable, but I am definitely more comfortable on the Torek 660 than I am on this Tenere, even though this Tenere is lowered by those 18 millimeters. So if you are not the tallest rider, I would definitely look in to the Torek 660, because if I go back to this bike back to back, yeah, this is like, uh, couple centimeters at least uh, at least an inch lower in stock form and and see, i can see the sag on this rear suspension is not too bad because this is so much more narrow you can actually you can really notice it when you stand here that's the reason i can reach the ground way better aprilia made an awesome job designing this frame because even though the bike has a long suspension travel a good crown clearance even a shorter ride and can take a good position with your feet because it's narrow here 
where it matters. If it was more wide, it would have to have the same problem as the Tenere 700. Like put my legs like this, I wouldn't reach the ground like this. But because it's so narrow, I can just stand here very easily like this. And doing this on these bikes, like going side to side, moving the bike around, I can definitely feel that the Torek is lighter. It feels more nimble, it's, it's more manageable the weight. Coming to a standstill and uh, stopping with the bike, I feel more confident on this bike. Yesterday when I rode the bike here, I definitely felt like the bike was uh, much nicer to handle uh, standing still and uh, coming to a stop. I, I don't mean to say it's hard on the Tenere, but all these little changes on the Torex 660 makes the bike way more comfortable to ride in my opinion. And when I stand on the Tenere, it feels more clumsy doing this. Of course there might be a little bit more gas on this, I can't really remember, but there's not much fuel on the Torek. This has always felt a little bit more clumsy doing this. It's, it feels slow and sluggish, very heavy between your legs and when you move it about. The weight is pretty much the same on both of these bikes. I have these bars on the Tenere of course and the Torek doesn't have any protection. But these bars are in total 4 kilograms. And I have the HP Corsa pipe and lithium battery on this Tenere, so that is going to compensate some of that weight. So I can definitely report that the Tenere feels more sluggish like this if you just move it about side to side. So the Torek feels lighter, even though on paper they are pretty much exactly the same weight. But the Torek definitely carries its weight lower on the bike's frame, so it feels more nimble. Main reason why the Torek is carrying its weight low is probably the tank, because the tank is mainly here underneath the seat, and the top part here is actually the airbox. So that makes a big difference in changing the, some of the weight from the top of the bike to the lower part of the bike, especially when you run low on fuel, all the fuel is going to be underneath your ass, so it's going to be, it's going to make the bike feel more nimble and more manageable, the weight. So yeah, next videos I'm going to be installing the Old Pack Motor Trek protection to this bike. I'm going to do an install video, so there's going to be crash bars and the skid plate. So this is the trusty Tenere that I already sold, just waiting for the new owner to get it. It's gonna be picked up probably this week or the next week. And the brand new Torek with 100 kilometers on the clock right now. What do you think? Which one is the better looking bike out of these two? The Torek definitely looks apart because it's not all black, but the Tenere does look more menacing. The Torek is... Uh, it's a nice looking bike. I like the decals of, of this color. The new 24 model is maybe a little bit more aggressive looking, but this looks like an 80s rally bike in this color scheme. I think the, it, the look is pretty nice. And the reason why I went for the 23 model is because I got a little bit of a better deal. So I'm not going to pay more to get the new color scheme because the bike is pretty much the same. I think it is exactly the same. I have the quick shifter here. I have all the intelligent mobile phone stuff on the screen and uh, heated grips. These are the stock heated grips. Even though I knew that these factory heated grips are not going to be the most powerful, I went with them because you can just adjust them using the OEM buttons here on the bar. You don't have to have any extra stuff on the bar. So I can mount cameras and phones and whatever I want to the bar because you don't have anything else. It's a clean design in that sense. So I wanted to go with the OEM bars even though they're not the hottest on the market. Oxfords would probably be hotter but these are plenty good enough for me. So yeah, those are the two bikes. Tenere is gone and the Torek is in. There's a lot, a lot of videos that are coming with the Torek this summer. So see you on the next videos.
goodbye.